Hello everybody, it is me, Soul Simmer, and welcome to my 2014 current household video. Yay! <laughs> uh, yeah, I've wanted to do this for a while, but the family that I was supposed to do it with corrupted a while ago. And I was sad. I had played that family, no joke, for like a year. And <laughs> it was like, I had a moment. But... It took me a while to get back, and I finally got to making a new family. Um, no, it didn't start with a family. It started with two sims. No, one sim. One sim. And um, I've been simming like crazy to, to progress their life. But, um, yeah, so that is what I'm going to be showing you today. Um, this is the Moore household, and uh, I'm going to show you their house first. Um, as you can see, we have the couple. And then we have two girls, one boy, and a dog. So I'm going to get to each of them, but first, I'm going to show you the house. So let's start downstairs. Okay. So um, when you first walk in, you just um, you walk in. Then there's stairs, and over here there is the dining room. Love this dining room. Two pieces. It is probably the best room I have created. Well. Yeah, that just shows you how how bad I am at building. But, um, so in the entrance, we just have an open entranceway here. Um, we have two tiki, no, Egyptian sculptures. Don't want to offend anyone. Um, and then we have some nice little cute lanterns, because recently I have been loving World Adventures. <laughs> and then we have some more plants and this, f um... This, these two fans, which I love so, so much. And then we just have a bunch of windows, nice red wallpaper, and um, this house came with this dining set, and I just loved it so much. <laughs> and then the rug. And so, yeah, that's the uh, dining room. And then you walk into the kitchen. One second, let me turn the lights on. Turn on, lights, turn on. Okay, so, sorry about that. Um, you walk in, and it's a ju just another entranceway, open entranceway. We have some kitchen pans. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm so not good at this view. Sorry, I'll just do it from up here. And then we have, sorry, don't mind the dog. <laughs> we have a nice um, pet bowl here. There used to be the kids' um, high chairs, but now they have, they're older, so we don't have that anymore. We have a nice um, kitchen set. It, it's really matchy. I like it a lot. These counters, and um, they're nice. And this fan, also from World Adventures, because I love damn World Adventures. <laughs> and then we have a phone, a fire alarm, and a garbage, like usual. And that is the kitchen. So come back out here. Then um, we have the living room. There's a big wall next to the staircase. So, yeah, just if you were wondering. And, yeah, we walk in. It's a bit old-fashioned. Um, a lot of pets were used in these um, chairs and the furniture. I think that furniture is World Adventures. That couch is World Adventures. But, yeah, we have a nice floor lamp over here. We got a nice... Um, jukebox. No, we got a nice radio. Then we have some relics from also World Adventures, I believe. Curtains, nice curtains, um, and some stuff for our dog, just some pet supplies. And that is the living room. And then if we come over here, we go into the bathroom, the first floor bathroom. It's really simple. Just throw in a sink, some lights, and a toilet, of course. And then we got magazines. So yeah, it's really simple. Um, really simple um, first floor bathroom, but then we come up to the um, the the place where we are now, the hallway. So yeah, this is the hallway. It's nice. It's just pretty basic. Um, just uh, some lamps in there, and then we go into the first room, which I will show you right now. It is the um, master bedroom. So if we just go into there, then, oh yes, I like this much better now. We have a bed, I believe it is from World Adventures, some nice bed posts. Um, this carpet just came with the house, so I didn't change it. Then we have some nice um, suns over there next to the bathroom door, which I will show you in a second. Then we have just a simple bookshelf, um, nice dresser from Seasons, and some more plants from World Adventures, a nice mirror. And then we have this um, desk which is a combination of 
a lot of stuff. And then we have one of The Sims um, graduation posters. I just thought it'd be a nice touch. And then we have our incense holder, because our Sims went to France, which I will talk about in a second. So yeah, these suns, then they lead into the second floor bathroom. It is also the main suite bathroom, but there's only one bathroom on this floor, so um, I made it for all the kids. And so yeah, simple, pretty simple. Um, yeah, just you walk in, and then there's a bathroom, toilet, shiny, sink, shiny, and then we have the, oops, wrong way, sorry, um, this is my first time doing one of these, so please, I'm sorry, um, then we have the nice sink and some more lamps and the wallpaper I really love, so I, I really like this room, I like, like the vibe that it has, but yeah, that is that, and now I'm going to show you the kids room so the first kids room we have over here is um the girls room sorry don't mind them sleeping <laughs> so um our girls which i'm going to introduce to you for a second are very opposite and i hope you can see that in their rooms they've just got dressers different styles beds different styles um display shelves different styles nice posters um some achievements over here paints and paint supplies for one of our girls and then a toy toy chest for another one of our girls and then we have the um other bedroom this is our son's bedroom it just it's really simple i didn't spend a lot of money on it he's he's a nice simple boy which you will learn in a second um the wallpaper is really simple i like it a lot and then we have a poster sports poster because he's into sports and then we have a nice plant and then a fish a fish in a bowl <laughs> which he caught by himself, may I add. So, yeah, I will get to that also in a second. And then we have some more um, achievement posters. And that brings us to the last room in our house, which is out here. It's got a nice a double door right right here. I really like that. Um, we have some puddles, obviously. Oh, the dog left his toy up here. But, um, yeah, there's really a lot of room for things in here, but we don't have a lot of money right now, and I'm not really sure what I want to put in here, but it's always nice to have extra space in your house. I've learned that <laughs> from experience. And, um, yeah, we just have this, um, ballet, ballet pole thing for one of our girls as well, because she's really into ballet and stuff. And that is our house. And now I'm going to bring you to the outside of our house right here. Um, so first, when we got this house, there was this, these, this garden and it's so adorable um it it makes money it makes us money it, it, it's what we're living off right now it's amazing i love it <laughs> it's super cute i didn't even know you could move into houses that had gardens pre-made because i thought they would die but i guess not um yeah two of the plants we are already killed as you may see there's vacant space over here but <laughs> yeah so <laughs> that is our garden and we have room for some other things out here if the kids decide they want some things but then we have our one and only car our voin Vorn PS, what did it say? P, P3228, P3228, um, our Vorn, let's just call it pickup truck, um, yeah, so that is our husband's, because he goes to work, and yeah, just simple garage door, we have some sunflowers out here also, which I really like, then we go upstairs, and we just got a lot, some space up here, which is awesome, as you can see, we have like a barn layout going on for this, garage which i am totally in love with but yes but we just have um little workout thing up here because i wanted our guy to work out and maybe this our son will as well but i'm not really sure but yeah so we have some room up there as well so that is our house everyone and i love it two pieces it's very colorful as you may have seen but um yeah that is our house and i hope you enjoyed that tour um Sorry, it was very difficult for me because I have not done that before. But now um, I'm going to introduce you to the family when they wake up. So I will be right back. Okay, you guys, so we're back. It is morning. Sorry about that. It's Monday. They have to go to school. But anyways, um, so yeah, that brings us to our first sim, Miss Christy Moores. Um, yes, I just show her her you her information her name is christy moores um she is the one that started it all she's really cute i love her 
Um, she aged up a few days ago into an adult, and before that she had a really cute um, braid, side braid, but she aged up, so I thought she went for a more mature look, and this is the maturest she's going to get. Yeah, so she's still exploring her life a little, but, um, yeah, so Christy's story, she, um, she grew up in, like, a rich family in a rich neighborhood, and she kind of, um, never really fit in as much, and she wanted to move into a more subtle background, so, um, when she was old enough, she got good grades in school, I would say. I lost her, like, graduation thing, but whatever, um, besides the point, she moved into Riverview, which is where we are now, and, um, yeah, her traits, she is a good sense of humor, adventurous, handy, animal lover, and artistic, and she likes indie music, fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches, and the color turquoise, because, as you can see, she's got a turquoise look going on right now, and she is a Capricorn, <laughs> and, yeah, so then she moved into, like, this cheap, cheap, cheap house, like, it's so cheap, um, yeah, and I was like, oh, what am I gonna do, we have no money, because I usually cheat for money in my families, but this time I was like, you know what, no, okay, maybe just this once, but no, so I stopped cheating for money, and, yeah, um, if you're cheating with money in your families, like, in LPs, you can't cheat for money, just gonna say that, you can't cheat, <laughs> it's the whole point of an LP, but, um, yeah, if you cheat with your off-screen family, um, that's fine. But I've just I've just learned that it's a lot more fun, actually. So, yeah, it's a lot more fun balancing money and stuff like that. But anyways, um, she moved into a crappy hut. She took a babysitting job, which earned her, like, a thousand. We were living off nothing. She was friends with a lot of Sims. Like, she knew a lot of people. Like, she was the town girl, right? Um... And then, um, we met Don Lothario, Lothario, yeah, Don Lothario from Sims 2, yep, <laughs> you know him, and, um, yeah, we had an affair with him, but then I learned he was a schmoozer, and we, we didn't put up with schmoozers, so then we had a party, we threw a party, and we met, um, our lovely Billy over here, who was smiling contagiously, like, that is so cute, ha ha ha, okay, but yeah, <laughs> and yeah, so he's next, but, um, then they moved, no, they moved in, they got a little romantic, and, um, he was rich, so he gave us a good chunk of money, which got us into this house, but then they went to France, and they got married, <coughs> excuse me, they got married in France, and it was really nice, and, um, yeah, they have a, that's why they have a lot of France friends, if you, if you notice, but, yeah, that's their story, and then, um, he had a dog, which is Duchess, and of course, I wasn't going to kick kick her out, because she was adorable, and yeah, but she moved in with us, and then we were at Wahoo in one night, and it was our last day in Paris, or Les Champs des Sims, um, and um, then we moved into this um, lovely home that I love to death, I love it so much, and yeah, that's, that's where we are now, and um, then Christy got pregnant, and we had um, our kids, but now let me move to Billy. So, yeah, um, Billy is brave, good sense of humor, slob, adventurous, and a dog person. So they have a few things in common. He is a Sagittarius, he likes a disco music, which I love, so Billy's my guy, and he likes hamburgers and the color black. So I really like him. He works at the, he works in politics. He's a ballot counter. He just joined a bit ago, sorry, that was loud noise, um, and, yeah, that is him, and so, he's awesome, I love him, and then, they found out they were having kids, and that brings us to little Miss, um, Peyton over here, uh, this is Peyton, she's super cute, I love her, yes, she has braces, if you hadn't noticed, I bought them I got them. They're a download, but yeah, this is Peyton. She is a Capricorn, just like her mom. Um, she's um, an equestrian, athletic, and artistic. So she's a good mix of both Billy and Christy, except her hair. Um, yeah, she was a bit of an odd one. 
coming out. She got blonde hair, and I was like, aww. <laughs> and <laughs> I don't know why she had blonde hair, because both of their parents have black hair. But yeah, so that's Peyton's story. She's a bit of an odd one out um, from the rest, but she likes a disco music, autumn salad, and seafoam, the color seafoam. She doesn't like to eat seafoam. But um, yeah, that is her. She, um, in her inventory, she just has this bear. This bear named Maddie that she used to play with. But, um, so, yeah, I'm going to tell her story next. But it really takes more than that to tell her story. So we'll do that with the other Sims now. So then Christy found out she was um, pregnant again with um, Little Miss Cassidy over here. Um... This is Cassidy. She is over-emotional, party, animal, and a snob. So she's kind of that bratty little sister. Um, yes, these overalls are custom content. She is super cute. I just thought she deserved that. She is a Libra. She likes classical music, vegetarian, grilled salmon, and she is she likes the color Irish green. I don't know where that came from. But that is little Cassidy. And, um, yeah, so when Christy was pregnant with Cassidy, um, I was really excited because I wanted two girls, you know, hate each other, have a grudge, because that's just how life works, right? And so I was really excited. And then, um, but Christy didn't have the best pregnancy experience with Cassidy, and I kind of did that on purpose, because I didn't want her to turn out better than Peyton, because Peyton's my sunshine, I love you, Peyton. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so then when Cassidy was born, it was like, congratulations on a baby girl, I was like, yes, hallelujah, and then I gave her a name, gave her traits. She started with the, um, what did she start with? She started with a snob or over-emotional, I don't remember, but not party animal, I don't think. But, um, yeah, and I was super excited, and then another one popped up, and I was like, oh my god, and it was like, congratulations on a new baby boy, and I was like, no freaking way, because, um, she had no, like, pregnancy cheats, she doesn't, she didn't have, none of them had the, um, fertility lifetime reward and they didn't eat any watermelons or apples or listen to kids music or kids station tv and if you didn't know that's how you induce the chances of twins or gender or whatever but um she had none of that and this is the first time that's happened to me so that's what makes this family kind of special and out popped a little daniel <laughs> out popped a <laughs> little daniel here um he is brave, disciplined, and athletic. He is, he likes the color orange, he likes veggie burgers, and he likes Latin music, and he is a Leo. And I love him to pieces. He's just kind of that kid that's like, that's like chill, man. And when he aged up, he aged up with these um, uh, aqua streaks, and I was like, oh, that's perfect. Uh, so I didn't give those. He, he aged up with them, which was awesome. And so that's little Daniel here. He's chill. You know, he gets along with Peyton pretty well, but when Peyton was a toddler, like, when the twins were being born, Peyton was the center of attention before that, and then, um, the twins came, and we didn't have any time for her, basically, and that's when she developed the grumpy traits, so she gets sad, she has her moments occasionally, but besides that, she's a really nice girl, I love her, I love her so much, but, <laughs> but, yeah, so, um, Cassidy is insane, pretty much. Um, she runs around the house screaming random chants and playing with her um, imaginary friend Nina right here. So that's that's Nina. Thought I had to show you that. And um, yeah, so she's pretty insane. She scares me sometimes. Like, I'm not gonna lie. And then Daniel and Peyton get along pretty well because Daniel's chill and Peyton's, you know, athletic. She's kind of like a tomboy. And so they get along great. They're, it's, they're super cute, but they both, they both hate um, Cassidy, which is what they both have in common. So, yeah, that's just, that is just our family. But also we have a little Neon, which is our goldfish. Um, Daniel caught him the other day, but yeah, that's him. Just thought I'd show you. And then, last but not least, we have a little duchess here who is getting pretty old. She was unoriginal. She was from Billy when they first met, and I just love them so much. I just love her so much. She it, she gained these non-destructive and adventurous traits, which is super cute. And she has the clueless and independent traits as well. So she's a perfect dog. She loves everyone. She does. Well, except for Cassidy. But besides that, she loves everyone. Especially Peyton, because they spend a lot of time together, because Peyton likes dogs. And she also likes um, horses, too. But 
Yes, you guys, that is our family. Sorry, that took me a long time to explain them. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of stories between them, and I'm having a lot of fun playing them, since Peyton, especially since Peyton is in high school now, and the other day she was dreaming about, like, dating someone, and it turned into a nightmare, and I was laughing so hard. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> but, yeah, that is our family, you guys. As you can see, you might understand the room a bit more now, because Peyton developed the equestrian trait. Yeah, so Peyton's side is a bit horse-related, and Cassidy's side is just plain insane. So, um, yeah, you guys, that is our family. I hope you enjoyed this current household video. I'm definitely uh, loving this family, and I will have many more adventures with them soon to come, and I will definitely do an updated one once we have Generation 2, maybe. I'm thinking I'm going to play with Peyton or Daniel. I'm not really sure. But it's going to be good. I know that. And... So, yeah, Cassidy, little girly girl, Daniel, just chill, he's like a little army guy, just chill, Peyton, super cute, Christy, chill, she was a wild one back then, and so was Billy, but yeah, that is their family, and I hope you guys all enjoyed, um, and I will see you guys next time, don't forget to leave, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave ideas on their stories or anything that you have questions about in the comments and I will definitely get back to them. Okay? Love you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye!